What's up, you factor? Jared here. Today, I'm going to tell you, you're probably not reading your Bible enough. But I think you already know that. Let's go. Do you think I'm crazy? I've done all this before. Right. Joshua 1 8 clearly goes into um, it, uh, talking about our need for uh, reading and knowing the scripture. It talks about meditating on the scripture, observing what it says, um, knowing it. The Bible talks over and over about hiding your word in heart. Back to the Joshua 1 8, it talks about like um, being blessed from it. it. It really just illustrates, and it's just, it's just the one I picked out, um, but there's so many scriptures talking about knowing, understanding, memorizing, learning, following the scriptures, uh, and, and how important it is. And so many times we, get pushed around in our lives because we don't understand what the scripture says. So we get into sins, we get off, you know, in unscriptural ways of living because we don't understand what the word says and so we get off that way. We get into, uh, we don't do things we should do that would cause blessing. Um, we're not living our lives right. Like there's so much of like the, the churches and individual Christians problems are just stem from we're just not living our lives the way the Bible says to. And how can we live our lives the way the Bible says to? If we're not reading and really learning and studying and hiding God's word in our heart and knowing it, because look, I could go to another country and, and drive around and get pulled over and maybe even arrested for like not following traffic laws, because I don't know them. Here I know them. I grew up, my dad's a California Highway Patrol. Like, I grew up more than most of my friends really under knowing and understanding the laws of how to drive. Therefore, I've never had a ticket. Like, I've never had, because I, I just know, like, and I knew, like, what I could get away with when, what was the big deal, what's going to be, like, I just understood the law. I understood how it worked. Well, same thing with our, our, our spiritual lives. I'll give an example here. I'll, I'll pick on one. A lot of times we're like, you know, I, I hear students say, I, you know, I just, I can't pray very long. The Bible's really boring. I can't pray very long. I feel like when I talk to God, he's not listening or he's not talking back. Uh, it, and then we were like praying, you're like praying for a couple minutes every couple days and you try to read your Bible and it's hit or miss, but then you'll spend eight hours a day listening to like very worldly and even satanic music. Like most of the rap out there right now is horrible. Like the things in it, like I never knew that a day would come where I could listen to a song and the F word would be one of the less offensive words in the song. It's insane, like the way women are degraded, the way um, just the, the idols of and culture and this and, and self-indulgence and, and you know, all about you and your own thing. This light is really harsh. Let's see if I can't, there we go, I'll block some of it. Um, it's just It's just crazy and that's what we're putting in all day and then we're not, and then we go to church on Sundays, you know, three times a month. And then, you know, we go to youth group, you know, if we don't have sports or, or, you know, some sort of other, you know, acti family activity that, you know, we'll, then we'll go ahead and go to church. And then we wonder why, like, our Christian lives aren't very strong and they're not on point. Well, that's the reason why we have to be putting in the word of God and putting in the time to pray. So that's what I've got for today, guys. I want you to really think about that. Don't just dismiss it. Don't just say, oh yeah, I need to, or oh, this or that. Like, I want you to specifically take some time to ask the Lord, just ask, just say, Holy Spirit, convict me if I'm not enough. Show me things. Maybe it's a Netflix show. Maybe it's replacing your music with listening to the audio Bible. I feel like a bum wearing this. Anyways, whatever it is, um, ask the Holy Spirit to show you what you need to change to fix that. And then just sit back and watch how your life changes and see what the difference is.